Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about four-core cortical digital matrix. Cortical disorganization and abnormal laminar architecture we mean cortical display. Presentation. 10% can be presentation as epilepsy patient and 50% can present for children undergoing surgery for intractable epilepsy and 80% of children less than three years old undergoing surgery for intractable epilepsy. So let's see the first case. This is the axial flare armor in an eight years old girl. So hyper intense signal in the right valve parietal cortex. A common finding in focal cortical dysplasia. Pathology demonstrate what called cortical dysplasia tie to be, which is usually visible on imaging. And this is a coronal flare arm or image in a three years old with focal cortical dysplasia tie to be, with lying contrast windowing are soon. Note how focal cortical dysplasia is much more conspicuous in the image on the right with billowing emphasizing greater contrast. Windowing is an important means to increase detection of subtle focal cortical Displacing lesion. Such a 3D flare hormone in an age is older with tied to be for core cortical dysplasia, so blurring of the gray matter, white matter chancer. And transmantle signal abnormality. This is the case of focal cortical dysplasia in the non contrast brain. So, focal cortical dysplasia is seen as localized sickening and enfolding of the cortical in the left part of junction region with paucity of underlying white matter and prominent of overlying suckers. In this image, we focus on the intraoperative ultrasound to validate the focal cortical dysplasia, which soon in the image D and E. So, as you can see, the focal cortical dysplasia if we compare to adjacent brain tissue, it's a little bit increase in ecogenic city and low sum differentiation.
And this is also the image echo obtained from intraoperative ultrasound shown as in the image D. We see the hyper echoic y mirror and the junction between the two structures are also visible. Okay. Treatment for core resection plus minor preceding subdural EEG grid localized sensors. Effective Next, it depends on type of underlying of the region. Type 1, 13 to 21 seizure free. Type 2, 52 to 91 percent seizure free. Thank you.